Hi everyone, uh, I want to explore a little bit what the graph of a quadratic looks like. So our general form for a quadratic is going to be one of our y equals ax squared plus bx plus c functions. But I want to start with just plain old y equals x squared so that we can make sure that we have an idea of why the shape is what it is. So anytime we're stuck on what a graph looks like, we can always go back to plotting points. So I'm just going to pick a few nice x values. And you can see my equation y equals x squared is up here. Uh, and that's what I'm using. Uh, and I'll turn that on in a minute. But just to play around, the equation y equals x squared tells me that my y coordinate will always be the square of my x coordinate. So if x is 0, y is 0 squared, which is still 0. Uh, if x is 1, y is 1 squared, which is still 1. Not very interesting so far. This could really just be a straight line at this point. But when we hit 2, we start to get a little bit of information about the shape. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, y is 3 squared, which is 9. Uh, I'll do one more. When x is 4, y is 4 squared, which is 16. Oops. That doesn't look quite right. 4, 16. And we're getting a little bit of an idea of what's going on in quadrant 1, where x is positive and y is positive. So let's check out what happens when x is negative to give us a little bit of an idea. Uh, so if x is negative 1, the square of negative 1 is positive 1. So interestingly, if you think about our formula, y equals x squared, we're never going to have a negative y value. We can get 0, 0 squared is 0, but anything else we plug in, when we square it, we're going to get a positive y value. If x is negative 2, y is 4. If x is negative 3, y is 9. Again, just squaring our x values to get our y values. 16. OK, and now we get this nice set of points. Um, and maybe we're getting an idea of how to connect the dots. So notice, we know that negative 1 and 1, when we square them, both give us 1. But from then on, 2, 3, 4, squaring a number makes it bigger. Um, I do want to point out, before we just try and make straight lines and get this not quite right, that there's an interesting thing that happens. That's not always true. It's not always true that when you square a number, it gets bigger. So for example, if we think about x is 1 half, when you square 1 half, you get 1 fourth. So in that case, your y value is actually a little smaller than your x value. And similarly, negative 1 half, we're still going to get positive 1 fourth. Whoa. Okay, so um, when you plug in a number bigger than 1, your y value will be bigger than your x value. When you plug in a number between 0 and 1, or even negative 1 and 1, that's not true. Um, okay, so let me go up and turn this on. So remember that the deal is that when we're plotting points, what we're doing is showing every point that's a solution to the equation. So we have some of them, but there's infinitely many. And if we turn this on, the computer can actually figure out how to connect the dots. So every single point that this crosses through is a solution to the equation y equals x squared. So we're no longer getting our straight line. We're getting this curve. It's called a parabola. Um, and in general, when we have a quadratic function where we see a uh, second power on our variable and no higher powers, we should get a parabola. They can look a little different than this. There's certain variations on it, which we'll get into. But this is the basic shape that we're starting with. And you should have memorized. Whenever you see an x squared, you should be thinking parabola. OK, thanks for watching.